Hi guys, it's me Haley Marie and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a summer favorites video, so I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite clothes and accessories that I have purchased this summer. This is my first time doing a video like this, so if you guys like it, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I will do one for the following seasons. Before I get started, I do want to announce the 10k giveaway winner. The winner was Lily. So I am going to have her social media right here and I'm also going to send Lily a DM on Instagram informing her that she won and all of that good stuff. So congratulations Lily on winning the 10k giveaway. Thank you to everyone who entered. I appreciate your support more than words can say. I love you guys so much and thank you for following me on this YouTube journey. So without further ado, let's get started on this summer favorites haul. I'm going to start off by talking about shoes. This summer I have been loving and living in low block heels. I have purchased so many pairs of low block heels it is a little bit ridiculous. I have been loving low block heels because one they are super duper easy to walk in. I can walk in low block heels all day and not be dying and having my feet aching. Two, they give you way more lift than a ballet flat ever would. They give you the lift of high heels without the pain of high heels. Three, my boyfriend and I are both short and when I wear high heels, I am usually his height or a little bit taller, but with low block heels, I am still a midget next to him. So my boyfriend loves them, I love them, my feet love them, and I am very pleased. So the first pair of low block heels that I'm going to show you, this black pair right here, I got these from Target. You can also get this exact pair from Call It Spring. The Call It Spring ones have a little bit more height to them, and they do run large. They literally look the same, the material is the same, everything's the same. So, um, I recommend the Target ones. I can literally wear these winter, spring, summer, fall, and they go with everything. So I definitely recommend a pair of black low block heels if you're looking for one pair to invest in. I also grabbed them in white from a brand called White Mountain that is sold at Macy's, and these fit true to size. I think these are great for the spring, summer, and winter. I wouldn't really wear white in the fall, but I think they are so pretty and you can wear them in three to four seasons. So these are the next pair I definitely suggest. They're super comfy. This next pair of low block heels are the perfect shoe if you want a little bit of a pop of color. So they are these low block heels from Aldo in this lovely baby pink. They have the perfect height of a low block heel and this cute little ankle strap. I love the round toe look right now. It reminds me so much of a ballet flat. I've also been loving the statement heel trend and luckily the combination of statement heels and low block heels has been a thing. These are the two pairs of statement heels that I have. These are Betsy Johnson and they have little pearls all over them. These are a blushed baby pink. These are a little bit higher of a heel, but they are still extremely comfortable to walk in because they're a block heel, and these are covered in rhinestones. I purchased these from Windsor. This is also like a nude pink again, and I think they're so pretty and just, oh, so glam. For those of you who have been loving and living for the fuzzy heel trend, then I know you are going to adore this next pair of block heels. These have a higher heel, but they are these fuzzy, adorable block heels from Forever 21. And they lace up around the ankle, kind of like ballerina shoes, which I think is such a cute little touch to these. But I first started off with the pink pair, and I fell in love with them so much, I knew I just had to get a pair in black. Um, they are such a go-to, super easy to walk in again because the low block heel and extremely comfortable. Lastly for shoes, I have some that are more casual but still have so much sass to them. They are some slides and I never really liked slides until I saw these. These I purchased from, I think it was like 
Burlington and Marshalls, and they are just so fun. They sell extremely similar ones at Nordstrom for a way bigger price tag, but I just absolutely adore these. These are light pink with white pearls on them, and I just think they're so cute and girly, and I just want to wear them all the time. These are a black pair with white pearls, and these just remind me of like Audrey Hepburn. Like I feel like if Audrey Hepburn was to own slides in 2017, I feel like these would be the pair she would pick. Now moving on to handbags, I recently purchased a new everyday bag and I am in love with it. It is this Michael Kors Mercer bag and if you guys want to see a updated what's in my bag video then leave me a comment down below but I am obsessed with this. I added a little pink fuzzy ball from Charming Charlie's on it and I just love wearing this bag as an everyday bag. It's the perfect black bag, perfect size bag. Um, I can't quite fit my laptop in it, which is the only downside, but I can fit like a book that I'm reading, I can fit a water bottle, and I can fit makeup bags and my vlog camera and everything like that all in my bag at one time. My next favorite type of bag right now would have to be crossbody, and I have fallen in love with Ted Baker recently. I think everything Ted Baker does is just brilliant. I love the rose gold hardware because rose gold is my favorite thing in the world. So Ted Baker has been a dream lately and I have fallen in love with this Ted Baker bag and I just had to buy it. It is this little light pink long strap Ted Baker bag and the strap is in rose gold and it has the Ted Baker bow on the front with rose gold detail on the the bow as well and I just think it is the perfect summer bag it's the perfect light pink bag I've been wanting a pink bag for quite some time now and when I saw this one and knowingly it's Ted Baker with the rose gold hardware I had to purchase it moving on to accessories the first item that I purchased recently is this absolutely stunning vintage Christian Dior scarf and it is so, so pretty. Let me open the whole thing up so you guys can see it. It looks like this. I don't even know if you can see because I can't even see my frame. It's a pretty big scarf, but I am in love with this, you guys. If I were to imagine myself as a scarf, it would be this scarf. It is so beautiful. I just think it's the perfect summer accessory. You can tie it around your neck. You can tie it on a bag, you can tie it on your head, it is just the perfect scarf and I wish I could wear it every day. <laughs> As for jewelry, I have currently been wearing this rhinestone choker quite a bit. It is from Fashion Nova. Every time I go out and I want to add a little bit of pizzazz to my outfit, I have been going for this. I have also been loving this Kendra Scott necklace. I forgot the name of this style but I have been wearing this quite a bit lately as well. Recently I have fallen in love with trousers. I've never really been a fan of colored jeans and I think that adding trousers with a pop of color to your look just creates such a sophisticated yet feminine um, outfit and I have been wearing these blushed pink H&M uh, trousers quite often lately. I just think they're so beautiful with a white top and a low block heel. I've also been wearing them in white and I also got these at H&M. They're just simple trousers but there is a pair that I am absolutely head over heels in love for and they are from Zara and they are my absolute favorite pants I've ever purchased in my whole entire life. They are these Zara blush pink trousers with ruffles down the side. They are so feminine and girly and I just want to wear them every day with the necktie and low block heels. It's just the cutest trend ever. My next favorite bottoms are these shorts from H&M. They are a satin pink. I love wearing those because they make me feel glam even when I am just casually running errands. 
Rompers have always been such a go-to for me, and currently my favorite romper is the one I'm wearing right now. It is this satin pink romper. It has ruffle detailing on the sleeves. Um, there are flute sleeves with ruffles, and then the shorts also have ruffle detailing to match. Um, it ties around the waist. One of my favorite outfit sets for the summer has been this blue and white pinstriped top and short set. Um, there's ruffles along the bottom of the top and bottom of the shorts similar to the pink romper and I just love the nautical vibes. The rope tying up just makes me want to go on a boat ride. I've been loving the white dress shirt material tops but in more feminine forms. For example, I've been loving this ruffled white top from Forever 21. It looks good with jeans, it looks good with dress pants, it looks good with shorts, it looks good with leggings, just about anything. Since I fell in love with that Kendra Scott statement necklace, I have been wanting a white top that I could wear it with that wouldn't take away from the statement but still not a white t-shirt type of top. And I found this one at Forever 21 and it has bows that tie on the shoulders and it is perfect for statement necklaces. It is my go-to top anytime I want to wear a statement necklace. And last but not least, I have this top also from Forever 21 and it is this light pink fluffy fuzzy tank top. It's already a super 90s top as is, but if you want to give it even more of a 90s vibe, you can layer a black or white t-shirt underneath it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this summer favorites haul video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye!